What's up guys and welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. So guys, it is time. The Elvis video is here. So this will be part one. There's going to be two videos. Um, this one here, there's so many things happened. There's so much going on in this video. So I decided to make it into two parts. It was absolutely a life changing trip and we met a lot of really good people. Arkansas DOT, I've got to say, were some amazing, amazing people. They got some good troopers and some good highway enforcement officers. So, hope you guys see it the same way. But I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I'm going to get you to the video. I have got to go to Utah and drop something off for another awesome YouTuber that most all of you love on this channel. And uh, I guess it's kind of going to be a surprise. But you guys get to see what it is soon. Go and get this bad boy. Get that your emergency flashers on. There's so many rules. You're supposed to check your tires. You're supposed to get all the extra foreign stuff out of your pocket. Yeah, I ain't doing all that. Dude, can you imagine getting a job like freaking all of these out of here all the time? Pretty cool. That old truck over there. Dude, this is gonna be a good, like everything we do turns into some sort of adventure. We're either gonna buy something from here, come out here. I mean, it. this is how, you know, those, this is how that, they make their money. You know, like they find these old aircraft that are about to be scrapped and they just buy them for nothing. And then, bam, there yeah, you right. go. Then they it. take all the good parts out of them. everywhere they say they scrap these things yeah some of them get scrapped some of them go overseas so some i find them, one of these smaller ones some of them go back into service and when there he said during covid this whole place was packed full of airplanes like there was no room to do oh, look at the little cessnas dude yeah, dude i bet those are cheap oh, those are cute Flown in the 
big ones, have yeah, you? Yeah, I've flown in the big ones. I flew in one across, uh, when we went to Japan, we flew commercial. Yeah. Dude, those things are massive. Three course meals, beds, <laughs> it's crazy. It's just so crazy that the little motors get these things up. You guys can check out Jimmy's World to kind of see what this thing's all about. Did this thing have four engines on it or two? I want to say four. Okay. Two maybe, but... Can you imagine flying this thing? I couldn't imagine flying this beast, dude. It'd be awesome. Like, I'm used to flying little Cessnas and stuff that are slow as crap. I bet you this thing boogied. Probably. I don't think you almost have anything less. All right, guys, so this thing is sitting right on the axles. Right there. So we've got to pick this thing up. So we went and got the most bad A forklift ever. This thing's got a Detroit in it. Dude, I'd love to take that thing home with us. I bet it'd pick up a semi truck. Right here. Yeah, it says, no, it says, well, it's 22,000 pounds, so yeah, it would. Oh yeah, it'd pick up a semi truck. 22,000 pound lift capacity. Dang. Now, you can pick up boat. You can pick up two boats with it. Yeah, that's what we need. Big old lift arm out in front of it. Yeah, he does complain a lot about that. So here we got this trailer is equipped with these pads right here, which have been perfect for this plane to sit on. But instead, it's got mattresses. So we went here when it got loaded. Jimmy wasn't here when it got loaded. Um, we did have a truck and Jimmy was here. And then the wind got really bad. And with cutting it up and everything, I had to send the truck back home so it could go to work. That's why the trailer's here. That's why we come out here to get it. So we had to come out here and pick the trailer back up after they got it loaded. Well, I guess, I don't know what the idea was why they didn't use the... I don't think it'd be easy to flip. The wind's going to go through it. I'm not worried about the plane flipping. I'm just worried about the heavy weight and it destroying the bottom of this plane. See, with them rubber pads, it would have been dispersed along the the plane. So I think we should lift it up, big, big butt crank, and then put the pads in right there, and then put some pads up there and eliminate this one. And then you're good. It's supported in the center, so it's obviously you don't want it to bend in half. Looks like it's already kind of bent in half. Look right there. Yeah, see that? Those two back there? <laughs> that, that one right there? Like that one there, the only thing, the reason I like that one that's there, which the very back one could probably go, but. I'm saying this one, I don't think this one. Well, look, it's, it's through the wing though, so that's kind of helping uh, yeah, secure it. Yeah. This one. I mean, I feel like it'd be alright. I just don't want to damage the plane any at all. I mean, it's an old plane. I feel like we could rebuild this thing in a couple weeks, but. I'm still not about this. Look at the center. 
That's the, in the front. That's the only part I don't like is because that's where the floor drops down. Well, if we could get two things holding it from rocking, you know? Yeah. I'm worried about it's back here now because we have to have that off that axle. So pick up the back and we'll put something. In jump the up there and jump up down. It's right on top of the slack adjuster and everything. Yeah, that can't be. I get where their I get what their plan was with this. Yeah, I get it. But I think that would work if we just moved it farther up. Honestly, because this is the same thing as those those up there. So if we just slide it farther up and then slam her down, it'll it'll be good. I get what they're trying to do. If we just had one more crossbar. Hey, listen to that Detroit. Should be good though. Oh yeah. Put the other one in place. Now that's how it's supposed to be done, boys, right there. There's the right way of doing things, and there's the wrong way of doing things. And this is both. Check out that big three man Detroit 8.2 liter diesel. he was really worried about is this one because it's crinkling the actual jet look yeah that's he's pretty upset about that i think so let's put the entire weight of the aircraft on that one panel dude jimmy's gonna be so upset about that oh my gosh it just destroyed it Right there, and right there, right there. Right there. Yeah. All right, so we can pull this bar out. Pointless now. Yeah. And then we'll put some. Uh, you want to put them in that center one, or do you put them in the back one? I'm thinking the center one would be probably if we can make them work there. Yeah, I think the center. All right. That would be ideal. be good hopefully i want to save some of that carpet i have some here. we got a lot of strapping to do oh, yeah. all right i'm gonna come down and in as far as
far as I can. Can you tilt it? Can you tilt backwards? Yeah, tilt it backwards so the, the nose will come up. Yeah. But the nose is on that bar. It's going anywhere, so we're gonna get out of here. We gotta be escorted back out. We were escorted in, now we gotta be escorted out. made it to the first DOT inspection location and they just took off like a wild Indian after some truck. I don't know what the heck he done, but uh, they're not here no more. So I guess we can free to go. Let's just enjoy the sound of this old Detroit.
driver's like, man, it ain't every day you get passed by an airplane. Yeah, no, I'm, that's what, that's, so that's what I was trying to keep from doing with that guy was, you know, he kept, right. I guess they were taking pictures. It probably were. And, uh, I'm, I, I kept blowing the horn. I was like, man, I was like, great. Cause I know better than to skip this scale. Um. <laughs> yep. Just 13. Get back on westbound. You can take the five or the seven. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll meet you there and check it out. All right, buddy. All right, man. All right. I'll see you in a minute.
stay on the scale? You want me to stay on the scale? No, just do me a favor, pull in that first or second parking spot right there. Okay. And then just bring everything inside. Does he still got my book? He still what? I think he's got my book in my license. Yeah, he probably does. Okay. Go ahead and do your 45, your 90, and your offset, and then uh, come on inside. We'll let you know if you pass. Dude, this is crazy. How's this happen at 2 a.m.? Dang, I'm not that guy's like, ha oh, oh. ha! You pulled out in front of me, you're getting inspected. We're going in. You wanna go inside? <laughs> yeah, we'll go inside. Are y'all running logs? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are they on your phone or yeah. something else? I'll show you in there, I guess. Yeah, troublemaker. I thought, what the heck yeah. just happened? I said, no way, not right before we get there. Oh, it's, it's real. There's local Homer Road. Pay yeah, and you gotta pay them to drive. <laughs> Dude, why they got you all working this late? I know. <laughs> Where's my weight? Um, oh, got it. Yeah. Weight's good. Oh, it's real good. I figured it was gonna be 46 now. Forty-six thousand pounds. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You know, no problem. Now you you get a bad one every once in a while. So do you do? Awesome. And I was like, just he start, started working with him, working on the trucks, and then I'm like, you know what? This is I want, I want to drive them too. So just went to Tennessee Truck Driving School. Decent mechanic in the Marines. No, I was a helicopter mechanic. Got yeah. Do you Long fix you that? What? The airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oh. Yeah, there's so many Elvis fans out there. It's, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. My grandpa always tells a story like, I've only cried three times in my life when my <laughs> mom died, when I guess my mom was born. And when Elvis died. <laughs> yeah, that's what my dad says too. My dad's like, He's a fiend. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy. That's, that's a pretty much the only reason we're going, like, we're going to go to Memphis. And then we have to go all the way to East Tennessee just so our dad can see it. Really? Yeah, and then we're going to go back down to Florida. So, so it's are like, all brothers? Yes, yeah, he's yeah, my okay. older brother. Three years apart. Gotcha. Trying to make it in the trucking world. Man, I don't know the first thing about the business side of it's it. It's tough right now. But it I is hear so a tough. lot of people talk about, you know, some of them. They may just be cropping to be cropping or yeah. whatever, but I, I, I try to stay pretty this. optimistic and, you know, we pull boats. You probably see a lot of my trucks come through here pulling boats. Um, like big, The like, big, giant sailboats and grab like Yeah, that. yeah. Okay, yeah, I've seen those. Like yeah. sailboats the House size of that plane. Like that. Yep. Yeah, I've seen them. We pull sailboats, we pull ski boats, we pull yachts. Um, so you got to keep pretty good equipment. So that's why I run older equipment because I don't like the... You know, this new stuff breaks down all the time. It's always breaking down. These trucks here, you put a new motor in it, it goes a million miles. That thing's got a new motor in it. Um, I just went through that whole truck from front to back. The price of new trucks is what? $280,000. Well, it's, it's stupid. Like, you can get a 2019 for 250000 like, and then you get you can get that truck for, like, twenty grand, yeah. and they'll run the same miles yeah. and get the same gas mileage. And it'll probably pull better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one there is an animal. Yeah, it's it's too much. But are your uh, are your logs on that thing? It's cool. Your sergeant knew that. Mm -hmm. That was weird. Like I, <laughs> I called him and I was like, "You'll never guess where we got stopped." He's like, "What?" I said, "Elvis is an airplane." He's like, "I thought that was it." And then when I heard you say Tennessee, I read the Tennessee tag number. And he's like, "I figured that was it as soon as you ran the Tennessee tag." And I was like. What? Unless he saw it on the news or saw it somewhere. I don't have any idea. It is all over the place. Like I didn't even know it was an airplane when it came by. That's what I was saying. I didn't know either. It kind of looked like a bus in the dark. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. It's surprising how many people follow like YouTube. Somebody is an oversized load, which that looks like it would be. They would never pull in here at dark because it's super illegal for them to be running. Yep. At night time, and I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" There they go. And then it was Elvis's airplane. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. No, it definitely looks oversized, but. What's the timeline on this thing? In the morning. No, I mean, like, before he's. What's his timeline on when he wants to get it operational? Oh. Okay. Oh, I, I'm not. He's been pretty fast so far. I mean, it's been like real quick. If you go watch the videos, like, go watch Jimmy's World. It's been within less than two months. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's like he bought it at auction. He's done done like three or four videos on it. Like, will it start? Like, it's got y'all have to see that. Like, we have to open that thing up. We can open the door. You can get in there, dude. It's, it's all. It's, it's like, I don't want to hinder y'all and y'all's <laughs> trip. Yeah, but if y'all are offering, I would love to. Oh see yeah, that. dude. Red velvet interior. I had like, to get in there when we left. I like you're gonna get to sit. I just want to make sure nothing's moving. I'm not gonna say no. If it's gonna make y'all late on y'all. No, no we're good, man. Two seconds. Yeah, it'll literally take just a few minutes. At least you. You like that mustache? I know you're working on it. Do what? Yeah, man. <laughs> no, this is. Uh, I don't. This is only a notch thing. Like, if somebody. Oh, we if wrong person that. sees this video, I'm going to get we all kinds of hell for it. Straight up. But it's a notch thing. When, uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, we would do day crew, day crew and night crew, and night crew would look like almost like. We would walk in like our uniform all scraggly and our right. gunny would yell at us. Our sergeant would be like, what the hell are y'all doing? Did you see me go through that side over there? Right. We did. Yeah. Hair's all grown out looking gross. Yeah. Uh, 
Some people like it, some people hate it. My wife really hates it, but I deal with it. So it is just a level three driver inspection. Yep. Uh, not gonna hit y'all for bypassing. Y'all been really cool. Uh, if y'all would have been not cool, I wouldn't have done that. But y'all, yeah. y'all announced everything. Uh, if you don't mind, just sign in. Next year, yep. name on both those copies. Um, I'll keep one. You'll keep one. And is it your company? Yeah. You're the owner of it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have like a file started or anything? Yeah. With inspections. Mm -hmm. Just throw it in there. You're not gonna be required to send it in because there's no violations. So. Awesome. Thank you, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it just got inspected with the Elvis airplane. That was the coolest stop ever. Not worth it. They didn't even inspect the truck. They just did a driver inspection. So just like all of our paperwork, stuff like that. Oh. Pass, so baby. They so they don't have to put in the truck? No. We gotta fix these. Dude, I can't even believe we knocked that light out though. Imagine if we just hadn't been running logs. Oh, I know. All right. well, these dudes shut down. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Look at him. He's like, I was going to shut down. And this guy's leaving. What the heck? <laughs> this dude with a janky ass airplane. <laughs> 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 this, that's hilarious. Hey, I got to say, them guys are really cool, though. Even if we didn't have the Elvis airplane, I feel like they would have been cool. Yeah, they're pretty chill. If you wouldn't have stopped, it would have been a different story. Yeah. Yeah, they were surprised. He said, I, he said, we come over the hill and there you sit. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I don't blow scales, man. All right, guys, we're back on the road. We got a good DOT inspection. Thank you, Elvis, for looking out for us, brother. You know Elvis pulled that off for us. No, they got some cool guys there in that Arkansas still. Guys, don't ever blow that thing. I'm serious. We really didn't mean to. We really had somebody riding beside us and we couldn't get over. And then we pulled over right here and we were waiting on them to come. Because they, I'm telling you, you don't blow that side. They will come and get you. And that's proof in the pudding right there. And you were running 80. I wasn't running 80. Not run 80. I want to get a manifold for you. Big old fancy one. It just sounds like it's about to explode. So I'm like, because I would have just kept it in there, but I, I don't know. I just felt that. It's, it's let off. This is why you keep extra headlines. That dude seen us at the uh, inspection site. He's like, what'd they do to you? I'm like, just looked at the truck. Or looked at the, the, the uh, plane. Oh, he asked about the inspection. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one that was behind us. He's probably thinking he got left. <laughs> Well, you can't just change the bulb. It's the whole headlight. Dang. Dude, I wonder if I sign that thing and leave it up there, if somebody come and get it. Like, we'll tell them the location where it's at. Think you're that famous? No. Maybe. Never know. Never know. It's at the Loves in uh, Arkansas. Maybe that'll get them out of a DOT inspection. You see this headlight? It's signed by Timmy Gentry. Pretty cool. I'll trade you for my Well, it might now, but it's because uh, now they know you. You're famous at the DOT site. Oh, baby, look you there. We got us a new headlight. I thought that officer, I was like, hey, I have to change my headlight. <laughs> you can't inspect it until, until we turn change the headlight. Not allowed. That would happen though. You know, like when I'm you go. Sure that would have been cool and let me fix it. Like you know when you go try to sell something, and you, it never has a check engine light, 
<laughs> show up and that's seven somehow. Runs and drives. Shows up, it's on fire. One side's gonna work really good and the other's not. That side works really good. Hey, it's first trip out with this thing. You know, it's gonna have little issues here and there. It's their job to get them cleaned out. Whoa, is it still going? Bruh. $730. Bruh. What? 180 gallon? Hey, we were empty, huh? Only 150 gallon tanks. So that's another dim line. Yeah. 150. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I don't think it'll work. Guys, the joy that, that airplane is bringing to people is just amazing. Oh, no. No. That was so close. She started turning, I think her husband yelled at her. They thought they got lucky. They are so excited, dude. That, that's so awesome. That makes it all worth it, you know? There's been like five people come out. So as kids, that that Elvis was, yeah, yeah that was their person. I think I'm more excited yeah. about this classic, honestly. Me too. <laughs> this truck, oh, I, love, I love this truck. Look, <laughs> well, this thing is like, I don't know, man. You just can't. Some people love Peterbilts. I'm just a big fan of Freightliner. Hey, Freightliner's right up there with Peterbilt, man. I'm telling you, man, like, look at this. It just looks so mean. I don't know. And they have so much more room. I'm cool with it.
has been in Tennessee. Like 30, 35 years probably. It's gonna be crazy standing next to Lisa Marie. It's gonna be so cool. Holy crap, guys, like they're, they got security over here getting us off the property. They're probably about to call the cops on me, honestly. Oh, yeah.